What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis.com and today I'll be comparing two Polysleep mattresses, that's the Signature Polysleep, as well as the Zephyr mattress. I'm gonna go over their similarities, differences, and who should go with one over the other, so stick around to find out which is right for you. Now the first way I wanna differentiate between the Polysleep and Zephyr mattresses is by talking about the constructions of these two beds. Now they do use pretty similar foams, but there are some slight differences. Now starting with the Polysleep, the cover of the mattress is a polyester. It is a liquid repellent, but other than that, there's nothing really to write home about in terms of uh, differentiating it from other mattresses in the market. Now the comfort layer of the mattress, so the one just below the cover is what they call a hybrid foam. Now it's a type of poly foam. Uh, it's pretty soft, so you're gonna sink right into it. There is some pretty quick response to pressure though, so you're gonna get pretty decent mobility, so you won't feel stuck in that layer. You won't have to fight it to change uh, positions or anything like that. I should point out that it does have uh, holes in the top of it to help with a little bit of breathability and help you sleep a little bit cooler. Now directly below that comfort layer is a bit of a transition layer. It's also a poly foam, but it's gonna be a bit firmer than that hybrid foam above it. So you're starting to get some cradling support as you move further into the mattress. Now it's transitioning you from the softer feel of the hybrid foam on top to the really firm feel of high density poly foam base. Now high density poly foam is a really common material used in a lot of foam bed in a box mattresses that provides really great support to the layers of foam on top of it as well as giving the shape overall uh, to the bed. Now one last thing that, about the poly sleep that is actually pretty uh, different from a lot of other uh, all foam mattresses in the market is that it has a high density poly foam uh, edge support layer. So basically that's gonna be a really firm piece of foam that wraps around the entirety of the bed to give you a little bit better support so you don't have to worry about collapsing the side of the bed, uh, get that kind of rolling out of bed feeling in the middle of the night if you get too close to the edge of the bed. It's a really nice thing for the couples out there so it gives you the ability to use uh, kind of more space and makes the bed feel a little bit bigger. Now the Zephyr mattress does have a little bit of a different cover to it. It's a mixture of polyester, spandex, and cotton. It's pretty light, pretty breathable. I think it's actually a pretty nice cover. Now directly below that, you have a layer of gel memory foam. Now memory foam uh, is a pretty soft material, so you're gonna sink into that. You're gonna get that classic contouring feeling around your body. But one thing that memory foam can be known for is trapping a bit of body heat and causing you to overheat during the middle of the night. So they've included that gel infusion into the memory foam to help draw heat away from you, help you sleep a little bit cooler. Now once you get below that gel memory foam layer, the layers of the Zephyr are pretty similar uh, to the Polysleep overall. You have that hybrid foam directly below that. Like we talked about, it's pretty soft, quick response to pressure. Below that, there is a transition layer, but it is slightly different in the Zephyr than in the Polysleep and that it is a zoned transition layer. So basically that means it's going to be softer in the shoulder area, which is going to allow you to sink further into the mattress while still supporting your hips. It's a really nice feature if you're looking for side sleeping spinal alignment. So it's gonna be good for the kind of side sleeping combo sleepers out there. Uh, overall, I think it's a really nice addition to the mattress. Below that, we get into the high density polyfoam base as well as the high density polyfoam edge support. So the differences again between the uh, Polysleep the Zephyr are slight differences in the uh, cover material. There's the added gel memory foam layer in the Zephyr as well as the zoning in that transition layer uh, for some nice uh, pressure relief for the shoulders for the side sleepers in the Zephyr. Now I want to talk about the difference in feel between the Polysleep and Zephyr mattresses. First up, the Polysleep, in my opinion, comes in at like a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale. So that's kind of a medium soft feel uh, in terms of the level of support. Uh, if you lie down on your back, your weight's evenly distributed, I do think you're going to feel like you're sinking into the mattress. That's what I felt when I laid down on, on the Polysleep. Uh, but even though I was sinking in just a little bit, uh, I still felt like I could roll around, change positions. I didn't feel stuck in the mattress at all. So if you are kind of a uh, backside combo, sleeper you shouldn't have to worry about having to fight to change positions or anything like that now once I got onto my side I think the side sleepers are really going to appreciate the softer feel of this mattress in general I do recommend softer mattresses to the side sleepers out there because it is a bit better for pressure relief and side sleepers do tend to feel a little bit jammed up on firmer mattresses so if you are a side sleeper I think the soft feel of the poly sleep is going to be an advantage for you uh, however the opposite kind of holds true for the stomach sleepers out there when I rolled onto my stomach on the poly sleep I could definitely feel my hips start to sink into the mattress a little bit. In general, if you're a stomach sleeper, you're gonna want a firmer mattress so it keeps your spine in good alignment. Uh, I just didn't think that the softer feel of the Polysleep did that for me. So if you are a stomach sleeper, you might wanna look for something with a little bit firmer support. Also, I think if you're a bit on the heavier side, thinking that 250 to 300 pound uh, plus range, that there's not really gonna be the uh, strong support from the Polysleep that you might be looking for. 
Now for the Zephyr mattress, I gave it like a 7 out of 10 on the firmness scale, so I found it to be a bit firmer than the Polysleep mattress. It's to that medium firm side of a medium firmness. Uh, so while I was lying on my back, I thought it did a really good job of keeping my hips from sinking to the mattress and keeping my spine line in a good position. That's a really nice benefit for the back sleepers out there. I definitely feel more on top of the Zephyr than actually sunken into it, even with that gel memory foam comfort layer on it. Uh, so I was able to change positions really easily. Now when I rolled onto my side, even though I did feel like it was just a hair to the firmer side. I thought that it was pretty good for the side sleeping, side, kind of side combo sleepers out there. I think the zone support in that transition layer is a really nice benefit so that it gives you kind of that firmer support on your while you're on your back to keep you with uh, good spine alignment there while also allowing you to sink in a little bit at the shoulders when you roll onto your side. So side combo sleepers are going to like the Zephyr in my opinion. Uh, when you roll onto your stomach, because it does have that kind of medium firm feel to it, if you are, uh, you know, a kind of a combo stomach sleeper, I think you're gonna be okay for stretches on the night on the Zephyr. But again, if you are a really strict stomach sleeper, uh, you might be looking for something with even firmer support than this. Now before I go any further, I want to give you a little basic information on the purchasing process at Polysleep. Both of these mattresses come with a 100 night trial period, so you can have them in your home for a little over three months, deciding whether you want to keep it or send it back. Uh, they both ship for free. They will arrive compressed in a box. So for either of them, you're going to want to let it decompress uh, for a few hours or even overnight before you sleep on it, so you get the full support and feel of the mattress. Uh, and also, they both come with 10 year warranties, and I would say that's about the standard kind of online bend a box mattress. Uh, kind of warranty out there. Now in terms of Polysleep, it is a Canadian company, uh, but they do sell the Polysleep in the US. I think the Zephyr is currently only available in Canada, but will soon be making its way stateside, so just stay on the lookout for that. Now in terms of price, the Polysleep is much cheaper than the Zephyr, coming in between uh, $675 and $950, while the Zephyr costs between $1,400 and $25 and $2,350. Now before I end the review, I want to give you my recommendations on why I think you should go with one of these mattresses over the other. First up, the Polysleep. I think you'll appreciate it if you're looking for a softer feel to the mattress, especially if you're a side sleeper, you're really going to like being able to sink into the mattress, get that nice comfort out of the Polysleep. I also recommend the Polysleep because it is a better value. It comes in at a much lower price point. It is a really quality mattress. Now, if you're looking more at the uh, Zephyr mattress, I think it's going to be a better choice for the backside combo sleepers out there. Remember, it's got a little bit of a firmer feel, but still has that zone support, so it's going to be a nice uh, benefit for side sleep spinal alignment and I also recommend it to the couples out there I really thought that it did a good job of supporting me near the edge of the bed making the bed feel a little bit bigger So that's it for my comparison of the Polysleep and Zephyr mattresses. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if you are looking for a mattress in Canada and these aren't the ones for you, you can Google Sleepopolis and Best Mattress Canada. You're going to see my whole line of favorite Canadian mattresses there. Also, be sure to check us out on social media so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements and head to sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.